couple of rare events like a total solar eclipse certainly capturing the imagination of millions of people. And when places like Niagara Falls and Hamilton are in the path of totality, it means tourism. A lot of tourists <laughs> are flocking to Ontario. So joining me now to talk about the economic impact of events like this, Neil Lumsden, the Minister of Tourism, Culture and Sport. Good afternoon to you. How are you? I'm doing well. You have a big smile on your face because I know we've been watching some of the images out of Hamilton, Niagara. Mm -hmm. We have our teams, team coverage across the province as well. Um, a lot of people flocking to get part of this event and this is good tourism dollars right well it's great tourism dollars and it, and it touches on a, a bunch of different things that's going to be tourism now and tourism down the road which we i know we'll roll into but you know the eclipses is, is a big deal but it's also a big deal for those that follow eclipses and do it and are part want to be part of the experience all the time and those that now because of great coverage want to be there when it happens so there's a combination of of wants and during something like this but the key for me is the, the dynamic impact that it has on communities, Niagara, St. Catharines, certainly Hamilton, the areas around it. And even if it's gonna be a little cloudy, I think that's okay because people, it's about the experience and saying you were there and the, the impact on tourism is massive. Yeah, the amount of people projected in and around that one million mark, at least in just Niagara Falls alone, that is significant. A lot of people crossing the border. Yep. Uh, you know, one of the things is people wanting to travel within Ontario. You know, how do we get that, especially when we came off of this winter yeah. where, unfortunately, the ski hills and whatnot, we, we didn't get the tourism that we had perhaps wanted. So do you think this is going to launch us into the nice spring summer where the spotlight is on some incredible destinations within our province? Uh, yeah, and I think this is a, can be an introduction. It can be a, sort of a reintroduction introduction. The reintroduction is those that have been there before but haven't been there for a while. And then now we're coming back and for a day and a half. Maybe they come in Sunday afternoon. They'll stay over. Maybe they'll leave tonight. Maybe they'll stay one more day and then they'll head off home whether they're with family or friends or everyone meets in one spot and has a great time and if that's the first time the reintroduction is geez i haven't been here before but i'd love to go to the wineries yes. i'd love to go down to niagara parks i'd love to do these we haven't had the chance we're going to come back the others is the reintroduction haven't been here in a long time we got to come back so the combination of experiences and intro and welcoming people back in niagara does it so well Absolutely. We were just looking at a live shot in Niagara as well. The crowds, they are a building. They yes, continue to they build. Um, where are we right now, post-COVID? Have we bounced back in the tourism industry? That's a great question. Um, two things. What I've found out in, in the last couple of years is the tourism industry and those pe the people in the tourism industry have been very resilient, real smart, creative, have done things that they probably, no one has to do until you're pushed into that corner. Mm -hmm. And they've come out of that corner swinging and have done some things very well, which has allowed them now to come out and take advantage of the things that they had to do to either rejig or reformulate what they were doing before COVID. And that's typically will make someone or a business stronger, whether it's small, medium or large. And I think now they're starting to see the tipping point where they're going to get see more of that. I mean, Grey Cup in Hamilton that we also extended or not, we didn't, but it was extended to Niagara was a big impact. Things like that make a huge difference and this is a great example of seeing this happen and allowing it to continue to grow so I would say is tourism back to where they want to be very close but I have no question that they're going to be there very shortly and of course weather there's so many influences sure. as you're aware but there's also so many things out there that people haven't seen that maybe they'll get introduced to as a result of the eclipse or a result of a great cup or something that will make them want to come back either with a couple individually with their family or the result of a, an incredible blue jays home opener and we just pack the city that too how about that all right minister thank you so much for thank your you time. Appreciate, appreciate it happy viewing